Hello Aryans, welcome to Dawn Time. So today we will discuss about Jahangir World Time Magazine MCQs of January 2023. So these MCQs are quite beneficial for uh, multiple examination of FPSC just like IB, FIA, Custom, FBR, NAB and most important for CSS. So inshallah, I will continue this series till the end of this year. And I'm hopeful that these MCQs will help you a lot. So the first one is, so basically this video consists of two parts, one part of international MCQs and the second part of national MCQs, Pakistan best MCQs. So in this video, I will focus on international MCQs. So the first one is on November 16, NASA launched Space Launch System, which marks the start of its new flagship program, and that is Artemis. The Artemis program is a robotic and human moon exploration program led by the United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which is commonly called NASA along with three partner agencies. The first one is European Space Agency. Second one, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. And last one is Canadian Space Agency. So Artemis mission is conducted by NASA along with, along with the collaboration of uh, member countries of European Union, Japan and Canada. The Board of Governor of International Atomic Energy Agency or Association consists of 35 nations and the headquarter of IAEA is located in Vienna, Austria. And something often called the World Toughest Exam is held in South Korea. It is one of the toughest exam examination in the world according to Educationist. And USA, United States of America, second biggest city is Los Angeles. And the first biggest city in US is New York. On November 17, Carlos El Carlos of Spain become the youngest ever tennis world number one. So he belonged to Spain. On November 18, the latest Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit was held in Bangkok. On November 18, Japan and USA held joint military drills in the airspace over the Sea of Japan. On November 19, Amir Esil Kozave of Russia won the boys singles title in the ITF. ITF stands for International Tennis Federation, Pakistan J7 World Junior Tennis Championship. Next one is Consultative Council, the lower house of the National Assembly. The bicameral legislative body of Bahrain consists of 40 members. So Bahrain is a small country in the Gulf and its consultative council consists of 40 members. The opening ceremony of FIFA World Cup 2022 which was held in Qatar and the opening ceremony was featured by a Hollywood star Morgan Freeman and a Qatari activist Ghanim Al Mufta, which is actually an activist. On November 20, COP27 concluded with a landmark deal on funding to help vulnerable countries cope with devastating impacts of global warming and Pakistan one of the worst hit of climate change and global warming. And the recent flood of 2022 having 
are devastating effect on the economy as well as on the infrastructure of Pakistan. On November 21, Novak Djokovic won a record equaling sex ATP. ATP stands for Association of Tennis Professional Final Title. Next one is on November 21, Kazakhstan President Qasem Jomar Tokavio was re elected as a leader of Central Asia largest country. So Kazakhstan is a big country in Central Asia. And Qasem Jomart was elected as a leader of Kazakhstan. On November 23, the 11th Global Islamic Microfinance Forum successfully concluded in Dubai. United Arab Emirates. On November 24, Anwar Ibrahim was sworn as a Prime Minister of Malaysia. On November 24, Portugal Cristiano Ronaldo became the first man to score in five different editions of the World Cup the most talented footballer in the world. And on November 17, Canada launched long vetted Indo-Pacific strategy outlining 1.7 billion in spending to boost military and cyber security in the region. And Mauna Loa, which recently erupted for the first time in nearly 40 years, is the largest active volcano in the world and it is located in United States and which state of USA that is Hawaii. On November 28, Afghanistan gained direct qualification to the next 50 UR World Cup after their abandoned second ODI against Sri Lanka. On November 28, British airline EasyJet and aircraft engine maker Rolls Rossi announced the successful test of a hydrogen powered aircraft engine. So, in hydrogen powered aircraft engine, the main fuel is hydrogen. On November 29, World Meteorological Organization released its first annual site of Global Water Resource Report and the headquarter of World Meteorological Organization is located in Geneva, Switzerland. Former Chinese President Jiang Zemin passed away on 30th November. On December 1st, 2022, India opened its G20 presidency. And G20 stands for a group of 20 countries. On December 1st, the European governments tentatively agreed on a $60 a barrel price cap on Russian seaborne oil. On December 1st, New York and Singapore were jointly declared the world most expensive cities. On December 4, Iran scrapped its morality police, formerly known as Gasht e Irshad, and it was scrapped due to a, a huge protest in Iran on the death of one of a female death in Iran. So then there started a protest and ultimately the government become pressurized and they scrapped their morality police. On December 4, Israeli President Asik Herzog visited Bahrain, making first trip by an Israeli head of state to the small Gulf Kingdom. So it was the it was first time 
an Israeli president visited to Bahrain. On December 9, Italy, Britain and Japan announced to develop a future fighter jet. And on December 9, retired tennis star of Australia, Ash Barty was awarded the Dawn Award, the country's highest individual sport honor for a second time, and she belonged to Australia. On December 9, France and Spain agreed in principle to build an underwater pipeline between Marseille and Barcelona at a cost of 2.6 billion to carry green hydrogen. So green hydrogen is the cleanest and most sustainable hydrogen and it also emitting less pollution or emission. On December 10, Morocco down Portugal and to become the first African and the first Arab team to reach the World Cup semi-final. And Morocco is an Islamic country located in South Africa or in continent of Africa. The incumbent European Parliament president is Roberta Metzola. On December 13, European countries agreed to join grant Bosnia candidate status to join the Union. So Bosnia have the chance to join European Union. And on December 13, New Zealand passed law to impose a tobacco ban from next year, prohibiting anyone born after 2008 from ever purchasing cigarettes. And on December 14, Bernard Arnold surpassed Elon Musk as the world richest man. So nowadays the world richest man is Bernard Arnold and the previous one was Elon Musk. And on December 14, the International Cricket Council ICC launched the inaugural ICC Under-19 Women T20 World Cup in Benoni and Benoni is situated in South Africa and Benoni is a town in South Africa. And on December 14, the U.S. military launched a Space Force unit in South Korea and South Korea is an ally of U.S. and North Korea is in huge contrast with U.S. On December 14, the UN voted to remove Iran from a women's rights body. And on December 15, the European Parliament approved a resolution declaring the 1930 starvation of millions in Ukraine under Soviet leader Joseph Stalin as a genocide. So the keeping of millions of people in starvation in Ukraine by Joseph Stalin is a, nowadays declared by European Parliament as an intentional genocide by Joseph Stalin. So it's all for today. Thanks for watching Dawn Times. If there is any question, you can ask below in comment section if you people want PDF. So I will share then. Stay tuned with us. Thank you.